Section 1.3 is on square roots, specifically estimating square roots for those square roots that do not work out evenly. As you see on the whiteboard, I have written down in green a number of square roots that are called perfect squares. The reason these are perfect squares is because these all work out evenly. For instance, the square root of 4 we know is equal to 2. The square root of 81, for instance, is equal to 9. We all know that those work out perfectly. Square roots that you should know by heart. So today we're going to talk about estimating. So I'm going to erase those little marks that I put on there. And our first problem is going to be to estimate the square root of 14. Now, when you estimate the square root of 14, the first thing you do is you look at your list of perfect squares and you figure out where does it lie. Well, the square root of 14 lies right between the square root of 9 and the square root of 16. We all know that the square root of 9 is equal to 3, and we all know the square root of 16 is equal to 4. So therefore, the square root of 14 must be somewhere in between those two. Next thing you look at is the number 14. Is it closer to 9 or is it closer to 16? And obviously, 14 is closer to 16. It is much past the halfway point. 14 is only 2 away from 16, while it is 5 away from 9. Therefore, a good estimate of the square root of 14 would maybe be about 3.7, maybe 3.8. I would probably accept one of those two answers. If you wrote 3.9, that's probably what the square root of 15 is. So 3.7, 3.8 is probably the best answers. I'm now going to erase that particular problem and we're going to put another one up here. We're going to talk about negative the square root of 110. The negative sign on the outside does not affect the problem whatsoever. Just that your final answer is going to be negative. So we're going to approach this the same way. The square root of 110 that lies somewhere in between those two square roots. So I'm going to write out here negative the square root of 100, and I'm going to write negative the square root of 121. We all know that the square root of 100 is 10, and the negative sign makes it negative 10, and negative square root of 121 is negative 11. Therefore, our answer must lie somewhere between those two numbers. Now, 110. 110 is 10 spots away from 100. It is 11 spots away from 121. Since these two numbers are about equal, that means the square root of 110 is about in the middle. But obviously, since it's a little closer to 100, therefore the answer is just short of the halfway point. So obviously, the best answer for this particular problem would be negative 10.4, just short of halfway. The final problem, I want you to pause the video and work out on your own. Here is your problem. I would like you to come up with the square root of 78. At this time, pause the video, and when you're ready, hit play again to see how you, well you did. The square root of 78 lies between the square root of 64 and the square root of 81. The square root of 64 is equal to 8. The square root of 81 is equal to 9. It must lie somewhere in between. 78 is only 3 spots away from 81, and it's a long way from 64. It's 14 spots away. 
Therefore, your answer must be really close to the square root of 81. I would say 8.8 .8 would be your best answer and maybe 8.9 since those two answers lie really close to the square root of 81.